What's up guys, Kyle Ryan here from Pernoia, back with another reaction video. Today we are checking out Aura, Aura, Cut, Aura, I don't know. Auracus, maybe? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. It's my best just guess. Auracus, or Aura, yeah, it's probably Auracus. Orcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, which is their band that reached out to us. Uh, their, their new song, Below the Threshold, with featuring Frederick, Frederick Soderbergh. Soderberg, yeah, who I have heard of before. You know, he's uh, kind of a popular guy, I would say, within like especially the European metal scene. Yeah, uh, um, I even he even sounds familiar to me. Yeah, and I'm looking here. Yeah, the song came out like a couple months ago. We're obviously pretty late to the party here. Um, we've just been busy with the normal reaction stuff, but I'm glad that we're finally getting to uh, some band requests because again, like uh, we've done two already so far today, and it's been. Uh, been both, both been really dope, awesome. yeah. Um, and again, this one is another one mixed and mastered by Buster, who, if you don't know, he uh, does a lot of the uh, heavy metal uh, stuff. I guess you could say Thal, you know, yeah. he's in Humanity's yeah. Last Breath. Anyway, he does amazing work, I'm a huge fan. Um, but let's get into this song and see what we got here. <clears throat> What's his last name? What? What's Buster's last name? No, I can't know. pronounce okay. it. Okay. <laughs>
was uh, brutal as fuck. Violent yeah. groove. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Something said violent groove. I don't know if that oh. was like the studio or whatever it was, but it's yeah. Good, good, good uh, description of the song. Yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> yeah, violent, violent groove. groove. Yeah, I mean, that thing, uh, it didn't let up. I mean, it was pretty uh, heavy all the way through. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it sounded really good. Like, yeah. the production was super, super thick and just massive the whole entire time. Yeah. The guy was wearing a Mashuga shirt, and that might be making me. <laughs> Making me say that it reminded me of Meshuggah. Oh, okay. Definitely, are. there was like some Meshuggah-esque riffs in there for sure, and like yeah. his vocals as well were were very uh, Meshuggah-y over those Meshuggah-y. parts. <laughs> but I I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't totally Meshuggah-y. Not that, yeah, not that. I know what you're saying though. We all, I always do that where I where to throw out band comparison. <laughs> throw out a band comparison. Yeah, yeah which, which I mean we like Meshuggah a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, just the riffs, man. It was just mm-hmm. a song full of fucking heavy, just... I don't know. I, I just dug how aggressive it was, you know? Yeah, and I think maybe that's the most Meshuga ask about it to me. Yeah. It was like, because like, Meshuga just fucking nails you with the fucking rhythms the whole entire time. Yeah, exactly. Like just, yeah, it did have that. do not let up the it. intensity, typically speaking. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, good, good. Yeah, solid song. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that wraps up this reaction. Uh, as always, we have a song on the screen. Check it out if you'd like to. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next video.